Hey everyone, Richard DeBanks from Athletic Alliance, the company that makes you better, faster, stronger, and smarter. And today, we are going to discuss the truth about Force Golan. I'll try to get it done in less than five minutes. So, why am I coming to you from the heart of Athletic Alliance, locked in the storeroom, on this Canada Day long weekend? Well, because Force Golan is an ingredient that I have been very excited about for a long time. And I would say it is probably one of the most, yeah, probably one of the most underrated ingredients in the supplement industry. So let's take a look. What is Forskolin known for? Well, <clears throat> uh, weight loss is one of the primary um, primary functions purported by Forskolin. Body composition, uh, energy, nootropic benefits, um, concentration, and increasing testosterone. So. Is all this true? Well, let's take a look. There was a study. There's, there hasn't been a lot of studies on Forskolin. There's been two clinical studies run, uh, one of which was on men. I think it was about 30 men, and I will post a link. I will post uh, the, a link in the description below, and I will run a scroll for it as well. So if you guys want to read through the results, if you're a reader instead of a listener, hey, that's fine. So um, in one study, a, a group of 30 men there is 15, I think, placebo and 15 um, uh, using forskolin at doses of 250 milligrams per day over 12 weeks. And the, there was a significant um, uh, improvement in body composition in the group using forskolin. So body composition, meaning there was weight loss and there was, uh, there, there was fat loss and there was muscle gain. Overall weight stayed about the same, but body composition improved significantly uh, versus the placebo group. And there was another study uh, done with um, uh, women. <clears throat> can't, I can't recall exactly how many women. Uh, I can post a link to that study as well. And that was inconclusive. Um, there, was not, uh, there was not a lot of weight loss, but um, there wasn't any weight gain in the group taking the forskolin. And uh, so they theorized that maybe forskolin is beneficial in uh, prohibiting uh, weight gain. So it's useful in that respect as well. Uh, some of the things we see with forskolin is a suppression of appetite, um, metabolism boosting. It could block carbs. Um, it could facilitate uh, lipolysis. Uh, we've seen that it increases testosterone. This is also shown um, in a study that there's an increase in uh, testosterone in men taking forskolin. So women, you're fine. Um, we know that there's an improvement in energy. We know there's an improvement in uh, concentration and stamina. Uh, could be an improvement in blood pressure, although the jury is still out on that as well. So you can see there is a lot packed into just a little bit of forskolin. And that's uh, the clinical dose is between 250 and 500 milligrams uh, per day. Works well over 12 weeks. Stacks well with uh, caffeine. Uh, stacks well with something like uh, Yohimbi as well. So, <clears throat> and... There's also, and this isn't backed up, there's also evidence, some evidence, anecdotal evidence, that you may be able to get a great tan from Forskolin. So come on, body composition, increased testosterone, improved tan, start of summer, come on, man. Come on, man, what more do you want? This is a super ingredient, I am telling you. And I think the more studies we see, and the more evidence that comes out, Forskolin is going to rocket to the top of the charts and we have actually we have actually included forskolin in this brand new baby right here that has just launched havoc neuro uh, one scoop 250 milligrams one serving 500 milligrams of forskolin so you're getting the real dose the max of the clinical dose the daily clinical dose when you take this so that's it that is the truth about Forskolin. I will provide links. And remember, if Jupiter is with you, Apollo is with you, and Athletic Alliance is with you, can't nobody be against you.